Well, looking at the forecast for the next several days, I uh, think uh, I think it's time to get the tomatoes in the ground. Um, so I'm going to do that today. It's going to be upper 70s to upper 80s for the next several days. So that's that's really good. That's going to be good for. Um, putting tomatoes in the ground. The nighttime temperatures aren't going to get too cold, so that uh, that always helps tomatoes grow well. So uh, uh, we got to get started. Okay, so last few years I've been laying the tomatoes on their sides and uh, um, it seems to work pretty good. I know there's a lot of different tricks to, to uh, transplanting tomatoes. Um, I've been using the, like I said, I've been using the lay them on their side technique and uh, I, it works, it works fine. Um, so, uh, but uh, you know, like I said, this whole channel is about trying stuff out and and seeing how it works so um, you know if you're curious to see how these tomatoes work out uh, being laid on their side and and growing like that then uh, then you'll get to see and uh, you can kind of compare your own results if you're doing it a different way um, and see whether or not there's actually any difference and whether it's good or not what I found. Watch this. All gone. You can teach chickens tricks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got our tomatoes all in. Try to move slower this time. Tomatoes and two peppers, a uh, cherry tomato and a slicing tomato, and then all the rest down here are all paste tomatoes. These are indeterminate. They will keep on setting fruit until the plant dies. I've got two peppers. One is a cayenne pepper and the other is a, um, a 
just a run-of-the-mill jalapeno. I'm gonna floor to weave these guys so that would require me to put in a couple of T posts and so let's get to that. Okay, I'm not sporting the best look this afternoon. I'm a gardener, not a fashion designer. Warning, the following is a long-winded explanation of how I fertilized my tomatoes. You have been warned. All right, so got the posts in, and uh, so once these get down lower, once these get bigger, um, I'll start um, doing, the, uh, doing the weave through there and keeping them tied up. Um, I'm hoping that this, that the Florida weave does a little more to save room in the garden and uh, um, just makes clean up and take down, I'm sorry, it just makes um, set up and take down a little easier in the future. Uh, we're going to find out. I mean, it was really easy to s just plant the tomatoes and then set this up. So um, I was really happy with pretty much how quickly that went um, with the old tomato cages that I showed you that takes a little longer and the and then the wire cages that I need to get rid of um, those eventually just start to f fall down as the season progresses and the tomatoes get too big so anyway um, yeah that's uh, that's that I uh, I think you saw what I put on earlier. Um, so I put on some, I put down some gypsum, the uh, Dr. Earth, um, uh, the Dr. Earth plant starter. I put on some potassium, some potash, and I put on some, uh, some ammonium nitrate. Um, and I'm hoping that, and then I also, obviously, I put on bone meal. You want, you want for paste tomatoes, um, paste tomatoes want lots and lots of calcium. And so that's the reason for the gypsum combined with the, uh, the bone meal. Um, the gypsum is calcium and uh, sulfur. And so the effects of the, uh, of the bone meal should hopefully keep the pH from going down too far um, because of the sulfur. The, uh, the calcium in the bone meal is going to keep the, the pH up versus the sulfur which wants to bring the pH down. Um, so I'm hoping they kind of balance each other out and keep it, you know, keep it somewhere in the sixes, rough sevens. So. Um, so next, so yeah. Thanks for watching everybody and uh, hopefully this week I can get the strawberries weeded out and uh, um, I think next week uh, the, pretty much everything else is going in the ground. The squashes are going to go in the ground, the beans are going to go in the ground, and the um, and I need to set up all the trellises that I'm gonna set up. So that should that should get us set for the season. So that's uh, that's gonna be a really busy week. Um, hopefully I can get some of that filmed. Um, I'll be out checking things during the rest of the week uh, in the mornings and uh, and seeing how everything is going along. And uh, and we'll go from there. Thanks a lot.